we've got the, the deck in place. Uh, on top of that, there's uh, 300 millimetres of stone, and then on top of that, the, the tarmac that you can see. Uh, the next stage will be the Mondo surface itself, which will go in uh, next month as planned. So the infield went in uh, over a week ago, was completed, and uh, it's looking great. It's brilliant just to see you know, how much it's been raised. You can see you know, how high it actually is. It's fantastic, and they've done an amazing job. I've seen some of the footage of how much work's actually gone into it um, and it's incredible, you know, we're still a few months out from the come off games but it looks like a proper athletic stadium now. It's hard to see what the track's going to be like because it's not been laid yet but to, to see what it is in particular in relation to the crowd, you know, the crowd are going to be right there alongside you and I think that's really important just to feel them there and, and feel that kind of extra noise and extra atmosphere, I think it's going to really benefit the home athletes. I'm Joe Hoekstra from Mondo, the project manager for this job and various major projects for Mondo, including the London Olympics. Since Atlanta, which was my first Olympics, we have provided all the tracks, competition as well as training tracks, and then uh, several main events such as the World Championships and other Commonwealth Games. So we have just finished installing the synthetic surface, some 14,000 square meters of it or equal to sort of two football fields. It's been a good six weeks in the making and the weather has not always done what it's supposed to do. So at some stage we were working in tents and all sorts of things to try and get finished on time. We were completely amazed at the transformation. It even amazed us that it was so solid. You really couldn't tell that you are not on solid ground. It's a prefabricated material that's 13 and a half millimeters thick and it comes in rolls of 15 meters and is made to suit the lane width and it's just literally like a jigsaw puzzle. It's only three tenths of a millimeter difference anywhere in the thickness on the track and as a result uh, it produces very good times for the athletes. We are now getting ready to do the survey and the line marking which will make the track look more like a track. Glasgow has certainly been one of the more pleasant cities to work. Um, because of the rain days we have had quite a bit of time to enjoy Scottish hospitality and uh, find out just how good the whisky is, among from other things. <laughs> Something to sort of uh, console you while it's raining. <laughs>